Is there a better time for unicorn nails with unicorn skin? This is all made with nail polish. Let me show you. Let's get started. Christine from Simply Nail Logical sent me her hollow taco, and I've got the beautiful white, which is really, really white, I must tell you guys. I've got three swatches ready to go, and we've got the Aurora, Solar, and Cosmic, and I'm going to create 3D unicorn. What are those twirly things on a unicorn? What are those things? On the horn, there's the twirly things around there, right? I'm going to create those ridges on here. This is simulating the unicorn horn. But I just haven't decided which color I'm going to do yet. And then I'll show you how I do it. So I just want to sample the color of which one we're going to use. Ooh. And this one is solar. They look very similar in the bottle, but they're very different on. And this one is cosmic. Okay, the reason why I'm sampling this is because I want to see which one has the most sparkle. Well, I say it's cosmic, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so these two guys. Now, inside the box is the white polish, and it is definitely white. I've got two coats of it on here, and now I'm going to paint the unicorn ridges, I guess. So, essentially, they're just lines across, but they do want them to have a bit of a 3D effect. So I'm going to paint them on, and when I paint them on, just for a little artistic flair, I'm not just going to do straight lines. I'm going to curve them a little bit, like, as if they're like kind of wrapping around the finger, like the unicorn horn. Okay, so the first one is going to be the biggest one. I'm going to do it up here, and I'm going to wrap it around here. Now, because this is nail polish too, you don't want to, well, if you wreck it, you can't really wipe it off and start again, so you kind of, kind of, you kind of got to do it in one go. Okay, so I'm going to get a bead of it and pull it around. Oop, that's on my finger. And I'm going to take the brush and sort of bulk it up a little, but bring it right to the side. But I'm going to hold it upside down because it's nail polish. It's going to pull a little. If I do this with gel, which I have done with gel, actually it's best with gel if you're using that kind of medium because you do get a thickness to it. You get a gel with a thicker viscosity. But this is nail polish. It wants to kind of run into place and it wants to settle. So by holding it upside down, it'll make it so it won't flood the nail. It'll keep that unicorn ridge until it sort of dries anyway. What I probably will do if it flattens too much, I'll just do two. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with another that didn't work out as good as I don't. That one worked out better. I'm going to hold it upside down. I'm just giving it a chance to ridge up. That one worked out better. The first one I was a little too slow and I went a little too flat. So I'm going to let the first one dry a little bit before I put another one on. I'm going to take another little guy. If you have enough on your brush and you can control it, there. That one I had more in my brush and I almost like dropped it and strung it across. So I'm literally just giving it a chance to kind of fall with gravity and stay in a ridge form. It's actually staying in that little ridge. Good. See how I just kind of pulled that around? I got better. So I'm just holding it upside down, letting it sort of dry that way a little bit. Remember the first one I did, it kind of flattened out a little bit. I don't like it that much. Yeah. So I'm going to go back and fix that one. And again, if you don't like it, you could just remove the whole thing with nail polish. And uh, you just have to polish the white again, right? Remove the whole thing Cute. with nail polish? Nail polish remover. Sorry, I never okay. finished a sentence. <laughs> yeah, so if you don't like it, remove the whole thing with nail polish remover and start again. You could start with your white and then start again. And, you know, with the little tips, you could practice. If you had some little tips, you could practice before you kind of swirl it on. Those tips are easier. They're bigger. The bigger the nail, it is easier to get with the brush, but the smaller the nail, you just kind of have to, you know, practice a little bit. That's, that looks cute. Okay, that was fast. When you do it with gel, it's quite a bit slower because, you know, you're working with gel and you got to nuke it in between and stuff, but that actually worked really fast. That's honestly it. Ooh, 
that one really did bulk up. So I could bulk up. Maybe I'll just, I want to make sure I get the density. I think I like this stuff too because it is so dense. It's really hard to get glitter to maintain the denseness, especially when you're just using it on a line like that. This is very, very dense in that when you take one out and swipe it or a little line like I'm doing, it's got a lot of glitter bits in there so you can really see it. Okay, that's it. Now, one thing I will say that when I tried one before, I did top coat it and it didn't really, it kind of flooded, it filled in in between the ridges and it didn't make it stand out as far as those unicorn stripes. It just didn't stay as pronounced. So I wouldn't top coat it. This is a top coat anyway, right? So you don't really need it. Okay, that's it. That's adorable. Okay. I think I'm ready for the reveal. What do you think, Carmen? Let's do it. I think it's adorable. Check it out. I think we all need a little unicorn magic right now. Thanks for joining me. Catch you guys in the next video.